What's up, it's Gene, your coach, your motivator, your impact storyteller. This is Gene's Motivation, and I'm here to help you to believe that you're worthy to be great. Here, I just wanted to go live to tell everybody, happy Martin Luther King Day. This is one of my favorite holidays of the year because I have so much respect for Martin Luther King. He's one of my heroes. And one thing I loved about him is that he had a dream, and he wasn't afraid to talk about that dream. And that I have a dream speech that's actually not the name of the name of the speech itself. I forgot the name of it. But we call it the I have a dream speech. That's one of the speeches that I've practiced many times over the years to work on my cadence, to work on my flow as a speaker. And one thing I learned practicing that speech over and over again is how Martin Luther King took the time to brilliantly craft that message and the only reason he was able to do that is because he did not just have a dream he was committed to that dream becoming a ra reality and any of us whatever our dream is we must be committed to that dream that's the only way we'll realize that dream and when you commit yourself to a dream you will do things that will have people confused. They won't understand you. Like Martin Luther King, he took beatings. He went to jail. He even lost his life because he was committed to his dream. I remember when I was uh, uh, working at the corporate job, man, and I was, you know, getting up every morning, working on my dream, practicing, writing, you name it. And one day I was, uh, and I used to do this. I don't do this all the time. It's, I guess it's just the hood in me. So sometimes my coworkers would see me, and I had this one coworker. She used to talk to me all the time, and uh, she came into the, <laughs> she came to the lunch room. It was right, right before everybody got to work, right. And it was like eight o'clock in the morning, and I was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I was eating some noodles, right. And she walks up to me. And she said, "Gene, why in the world are you eating noodles?" and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I said, because I got up at three o'clock this morning. I get up at three in the morning, so I eat a breakfast. So around this time, it's like lunchtime to me. You know what I'm saying? And she said to me, she said, Gene, why would you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Why are you giving up so much valuable sleep? I said, because I have a dream and I'm committed to that dream being realized in my life. Now, what was crazy about this individual is she had a dream too. See, most of me and her used to talk all the time about our dreams. But her dream was to start a like a dating website. She wanted to start a website so she could try to, you know, get people dating and all these different things, right? And so I was I would always ask her, when are you going to start that website? When are you going to do your dating service? She said, I would love to start it, but I don't want to give up my weekends. See, working at this corporation allowed me to have my weekends off, and on the weekends, I like to catch up on my sleep, and I love to watch TV. You see, this individual had a dream, but she was not committed to that dream becoming a reality. I also had a dream, and I was committed to my dream becoming reality, and that's why I'm driven my, living my dream today. And all this I learned from Martin Luther King, because Martin Luther King had a dream he was committed to that dream. He fought for that dream. He got beat for that dream. He died for that dream. And now today we are celebrating his life on Martin Luther King Day. And a lot of you all out there, you have a dream as well. But my question to you is, are you committed to that dream to making that dream become a reality? Or are you just telling people you have a dream, but you know in the back of your mind, you're not willing to do what it takes so you can realize it, in, realize it in your life. And if you want to get to the point that you believe that you're worthy to be great, if you want to develop that worthy mindset, you must commit yourself to your dream so you can realize your dream. Now, I just want to give that message for Martin Luther King Day. I've been out here practicing for, not, for hours. I got some engagements coming up. So, you know, you know, like Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to prepare in life, you prepare to fail. I never prepared to fail, so I prepared myself. But I thought about that. Uh, you know, I got all these people out here looking at me like I'm crazy, which I could care less because I'm committed to my dream. Hey, whatever dream that you have, I want to encourage you to commit yourself to your dream because that's the only way you'll realize that dream in your life. And once again, 
Happy Martin Luther King Day to you. I respect Martin Luther King. He's one of my heroes. And I am so glad that he did that speech, I Have a Dream, because by him doing that speech, and I'm able to get that speech and practice that speech, it helped me to realize that everything that he dreamed of only became a reality because he was committed to his dream becoming a reality for people like me and others around the country can have the freedoms to vote, the freedoms to be seen as equal in this country, and I am so, so grateful for that. Hey, have a great Martin Luther King Day, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Peace.